I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but there's a lot, and I mean an awful lot, of very horrible ideas in the real estate industry that realtors promote that hurt the buyers, they hurt the sellers, they hurt the agents, and I don't know how these things get started, but I think it's about the listing agents being lazy many, many times. So one of them is highest and best, okay? So highest and best, when, when you have a, uh, let's say you're working with a buyer and your buyer is a great buyer, they fall in love with the house and then the listing agent says, well, we're doing highest and best and we have multiple offers. Are you happy that's how they're doing it? No, you're not. Because you know you might get beat out by somebody who is willing to pay less than your buyer is willing to offer, but actually your, your buyer might be willing to pay more than that, but you only get one bite at the apple. Horrible ideas like this have to be eliminated and no fearless agent, no fearless agent coaching student would ever allow their seller to be fall prey to highest and best, escalation clauses, all these uh, uh, horrible, or having an artificial date when we're gonna review offers. When you're a fearless agent, you don't do any of that baloney. And it's because we're hard workers and we wanna get top dollar for the seller and the buyer who's willing to pay the most should get to pay the most. The seller should be able to sell their house to the buyer who wants to pay the most. So if you're uncomfortable, and you should be, with the way the real estate business is being done these days when there's commonly multiple offers, or in any market where there's a multiple offer situation, we know how to fix that. If you happen to be earning less than you wish you were, and you're frustrated with the way other agents do business, I want you to call me at 480-385-8810. I want to turn you into a fearless agent. Thanks.